The world's economies aren't the only ones collapsing right now. The entire planet and all of the systems it supports have reached a tipping point and are beginning to irreversibly collapse. The recent disasters are a clear demonstration that our self-destructive behaviors have completely overwhelmed our nature. But what many of us aren't realizing is that, at this point, climate change won't be reversed solely by lowering global temperatures, and even if we aren't seeing the direct effects of such disruptions in our lives right now, it won't be long before we do, because the clock is ticking, and unlike economies that can be reshaped and restructured, it will be much more difficult to repair the damages caused to ozone. This week, a shocking report revealed that nearly one-third of all freshwater fish species are on the verge of extinction. The world's forgotten fishes revealed that 80 freshwater species, accounting for more than half of all species, have already been declared extinct, with 16 of them going extinct in 2020 alone. Several migratory populations have also suffered catastrophic declines, with more than three-quarters having vanished since the 1970s, while populations of larger species weighing more than 60 pounds have dropped even more dramatically, by roughly 94%. Freshwater fish are critical to the healthy operation and maintenance of our planet's rivers, lakes, and wetlands, and hundreds of millions of people worldwide rely on them to ensure food security as they are the primary protein source for many communities. It is also critical to many groups' livelihoods, particularly vulnerable and indigenous communities. As the decline worsens with each passing year, it may endanger societies and economies around the world, according to the report. As a result, a significant reduction in such populations has the potential to exacerbate global hunger crises. Conservation organizations, such as the World Wide Fund for Nature and Global Wildlife Conservation, have stated that a combination of factors such as habitat degradation, damming and draining of rivers and wetlands, pollution, the introduction of invasive species, and wildlife crime are not only putting additional pressures on global freshwater fish populations, but are also increasing the threat of climate change. At the same time, we are witnessing the extinction of numerous insect species. In fact, earlier this month, a synthesis of 73 studies on entomological fauna revealed that insects, which account for two-thirds of all terrestrial species, have been dying off at alarming rates, wreaking havoc on food chains and habitats. According to an environmental biologist, if insect species losses are not stopped, this will have catastrophic consequences for both the planet's ecosystems and the survival of mankind. Human activities are endangering numerous vertebrate species on land and under the sea on a global scale. But what's truly terrifying is that the human race is in decline and the consequences are already visible. Fertility rates around the world fell by half between 1960 and 2015. America's total birth rate is 16% lower than what is required to replace itself. Scientists at Cambridge University discovered that humanity is significantly shrinking in size. According to the researchers, humans have passed their peak, and modern humans are 10% smaller and shorter than our hunter-gatherer ancestors. As if that weren't enough, our brains are also noticeably smaller. For the longest time, humans believed that the emergence of civilization was the pinnacle of humanity, but as we became sedentary, we lost resistance, strength, immunity, and a variety of other characteristics that helped us adapt to life on Earth. Our food contains hormones and pesticides, our water contains traces of toxic waste, and our atmosphere is becoming increasingly polluted by the day. Our weakened bodies are producing harmful genetic mutations and passing them on to future generations, who will then produce a new set of mutations and pass them on and on. This means that not only is the clock ticking for our planet, but it is also ticking for humanity. For more such informative videos, subscribe to our channel and like the video. See you in the next video.